Let's play quietly, quietly. Hey everybody, this is Brian here from Let's Play Quietly, and this is the first episode of a new series on Mass Effect that we'll be doing here on the channel. Um, you may have seen our other channel, Co-op Critics, where we do a lot of Let's Plays, a lot of different games, but this is our ASMR channel, and we will be doing a series of Let's Plays on this channel that are intended for the ASMR audience. This will be a softly spoken series, and uh, Mass Effect is one of my favorite games, which is why I chose to do my first Let's Play series for the channel on Mass Effect. So today we're just going to create our character and maybe get through the very beginning of the game. But my goal is to do an entire series on Mass Effect 1 and perhaps the other two games here as well. If there are particular games that you'd like to see on our channel, please leave us comments and suggestions. We have a few games in mind that we'll be playing, and we're always open to games that people want to see. The character creation isn't amazing in Mass Effect, so I'm not going to spend too much time. I tend to make characters that resemble characters that I write about in my fiction. Uh, let's see. You're an orphan raised on the streets of Earth. Small border colony. Your parents were born in the Alliance military. Um, let's go with colonist. I'm more of a role player than sort of a frontline fighter, so let's see what class. I think I was an engineer when I played through the first time. Yeah, this is more of the sniper class, which is kind of my style, so let's go with it. I'll train her. Okay, so that's our character, Naya Shepard, loosely. Uh, there's a character in one of my books that was named something related to Naya. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change it. That's fine. We're going to go normal. Subtitles. I'll put the subtitles on. I'm going to keep the volume for the game very low. Uh, let's start with these presets. Well, what about 
Mass Effect 1 is my favorite of the three games, and the reason that I like Mass Effect 1 the best is because it's, to me, the, the most role-play heavy game of the three. As the series went on, it became more of a shooter series. Um, but I really, really love this first game, even though it has its flaws. And there are, it's not as polished as the later entries in the series. It is a lot of fun, and the world feels really huge in this game, so it is one of my favorite role-playing games of all time. It just feels so epic. Anyone who's watching, I'd like to hear what your favorite role-playing games are in the comments, because this channel will be one where we probably do a good amount of role-playing games, just because they lend themselves to longer series and a little bit more laid-back approach, although Mass Effect is a very action oriented RPG will have some that are a lot more laid back. When this game first came out, I was really into the fiction of the Mass Effect world. I read the books. I actually interviewed uh, the author of the first novels who also wrote for the game and did some coverage for different websites of Mass Effect. I was all in. I'm really interested to see if I'll make different choices this time around because I tend to play a very specific way. Another thing I love about this game is the characters are very well realized. I'm going to play the uh, Commander-in-Chief now and tell him to get focused. I was never a huge fan of Kaiden. Having Keith David as part of your voice cast is really a boon. Yeah, we'll go there. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Mission computer access is your journal, map, and other important screens. Our codex is sort of the Wikipedia of, uh, can learn about the races. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government. Okay, well, we don't need to get into all that right now. Who's our squad? Let you view talents for each squad member. Right now it's just me. Um, I'm going to go put a point in Infiltrator. And... Uh, 
For now, pistols. And I like having extra dialogue options, so I'll probably... Actually, maybe I won't. Did I already spend those? Oh, I did. Bummer. Okay. Alright, we'll go with that. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance grass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are in need. There's already some strife on the ship here. Why send a Spectre? A Turian Spectre? I'll look into it. Good luck, Commander. I always thought the structure of the ship was a little way. I can't remember if I have to go back here. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to this dude. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. You could give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime is becoming... The game starts off a little slow. But again, the world is so big. And with the different races and the different political plot lines, they really have to lay the groundwork for the rest of the series. If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still new Jennifer Hale, who does the voice for Shepard, is amazing. She's been in a million different games, but I think a lot of people will always think of her as Shepard. Why we needed the stealth systems operation. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was a Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The lore for Mass Effect is pretty heavy. And that codex that we looked at a few minutes ago will fill up with hundreds of different entries, and if you really want to get into the fiction of Mass Effect, there is a lot there to dig into. Obviously this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Right now I'm trying to play the peacekeeper. We'll see how long that lasts. What I really like about this too is even though Shepard has a backstory, we saw that we chose the sole survivor backstory, you're really living through her origin story here as she becomes a specter. And the way that I play Shepard, she's sort of always thinking about the bigger picture. Is this good for the Alliance, you know? Alright, let's get into it. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Ashley is an awesome character. I always thought of the two 
Ashley was a much more well-defined character than Caden, but that's probably because I didn't spend a lot of time exploring Caden's backstory. One of the things that I really like about this series is the Lovecraftian influence that you see. I'm a huge Lovecraft fan, and that's what a lot of my fiction is influenced by, so... Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. We're going in. I actually think I'm going to end the episode there. And we'll get into the combat next time around because I want to make sure that the levels sound good and that uh, everything came together well. But this is just the beginning of the Mass Effect series playthrough that we'll be doing here on Let's Play Quietly. So please leave us feedback in the comments and we will be back with more soon.